him and say, God, I want you in my life, but I don't know if you're real. channel guys peace and love to everyone and as you all know if you have any good news comment down below because here we congratulate each other and we are happy for one another okay guys so what we're gonna be doing today is we're gonna be having a bit of a conversation and what I want to know from you guys and what I'm gonna talk about is why do you believe in God and I'm talking to the Christians I'm talking to I'm talking to the person who's been following God their whole life. I'm talking to the followers of God and I'm asking you, why do you believe in God? Do you know why? Do you believe in God because your mom said you believe in God? Do you believe in God because your dad said, as for me and my house, we shall serve the Lord? Do you believe in God because that's how you were raised? Because that's just, that's the life you know. Why do you believe in God? In my time, which is not a very long time, but in my time, I've come to learn that when people don't have a reason to believe in God, when they don't really, when they don't have a relationship with God, when they don't know why they believe in God, it is so easy for them to be swayed. It is so easy for them to find themselves being atheists or leaving, leaving the faith because they had no real reason for believing in God. They had no relationship with God. And so their Christianity, their their life with God was stagnant because they didn't know God. And so when a little bit of wind comes blowing, they are blown away out of the faith because they did not have a relationship with God. Okay. Now I want to share a story of what happened to me a few years ago. I started going to my church and it was the first time we were going there. We we're actually just visiting and I stepped in and this man, this big, big, as a, as a big man, he came up to me with his height, a whole Goliath. And he was like, what is your problem? Dressing like a harlot in the church of God. Have you no shame? And basically he shamed, he shamed me guys. Mind you, I was about 13 and I was, I didn't know what to say. I was shocked. I was so taken aback and I began to cry. I went to the car and I told my mom, you know what? You attend the service. I was there with my whole family. And I told my mom, I was like, you know what, you attend the service, I'm going to be in the car. And she was like, okay, come on, just, you know, go inside the church and you know what I mean, uh, what not, what not, what not. And after then, I vowed I would never enter that church again. I was like, you know what, I'm never coming back here, I'm done. And for a year, my mom would go to the church I go to now and afterwards she would come and fetch me and take me to the church I wanted to go. You know what I mean? And a similar thing happened to someone else, except when this thing happened to them, they stopped believing in God totally. They just, they didn't leave the church, they left the faith. And this person, he was like, you know what? But look at God's people. Look at God's people. Why should I believe in God when his people are this way? You know? And what I'm trying to say to you guys is that when you believe in God, you will never leave him. I left the church, I didn't leave my God. I went back to the church because it's a powerful church and you know God's hurt. But you know, when you don't, when you're not rooted in God, when you don't have a relationship with God, you are easily blown away by what people do. As Christians, we are meant to be a living representation of Christ. When they see us, they're supposed to see Christ. But that's not always the case. We make mistakes, we talk too much, and so forth and so forth. But you know what? At that time, I did not leave my faith because I knew what God had done for me. He did what only God could have done for me, okay? It was a very confusing time in my life. I had no sense of self-worth. I had no self-esteem. I, I knew nothing about myself, you know? I was about to make one of the biggest mistakes of my life. And you know what? I was 50-50. I was willing to do it. And then at the same time, I was like, oh my gosh, oh my gosh, oh my gosh, you know? And, I, and at that moment, I prayed to God and I said, God, I didn't know God very well. This was before this church incident. I didn't know God very well. And I was like, God, if you are real and if you want my life 
And if indeed the God they talk about at church and in this house is real, I need you to save me. Save me that I will know that only you have done this. And five seconds later, after me, as soon as I said amen, five seconds later, God saved me in a way I could not have imagined. And from that day, I knew that there was a God in heaven. And ever since then, God has given me multiple reasons to believe in him. So what I'm trying to say is that when you are rooted in God, when you know why you believe in God, when you test him and find him to be worthy, which he is, then nobody, not, not other Christians, not a church, will ever move you from your faith. So I'm asking you right now, why do you believe in God? Many people ask the question, but if God is real, why would all this bad stuff be happening in the world? In the world? And I want to take you to Judges 6.13, where we meet Gideon. The angel of the Lord came to Gideon and Gideon was like, Oh God, if you are real, why would all these bad things happen to us? Mind you, this was how many years ago? Millions of years ago. And this question that we ask today was asked back then. As you ask yourself, why do these bad things happen? Why do these bad things happen? Have you gone to ask God to speak to you? to reveal himself to you, to answer you and help you to understand. You see, these questions that people ask, they will ask the atheists. They will ask people who don't believe in God. They will ask, you know what I mean? They will ask people who give them the answer they desire, but they will not ask the source himself, which is God. You know, I do not advise anyone to follow God blindly, to just say, I believe in God, because then your faith is weak. Your faith is weak and can be shaken at any time. Call upon God. Tell him about that thing that is going on, that you need him to save. Speak to him and say, God, I want you in my life, but I don't know if you're real. You know, I'm not sure. I'm not sure why I believe in you. And I need you to show me that you are real. I need you to do what only you can do. But I want to know you're here with me. I want to know that you're real. I want to know that you're with me. And God did it. When you call upon God, he will answer you, okay? He will answer you. Don't even be mistaken. God says, if you seek me, if you search for me with all of your heart, you will find me. And I'm challenging you right now to seek him with your heart, with everything in you. Give it a go. Why not? Search for him with all your heart and see if you will not find him. God's word does not lie because God is real and he honors his word more than his name. Seek him with your heart and you will find him. Okay guys, that's it for today. I really hope you enjoyed this video. Don't forget to comment, like, share and subscribe and I will be back with more videos guys. And if you want to have more videos like this, then let me do videos. If you want more videos like this guys, let me know. Peace and love everyone.